Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Downright Annoyed with Movies. Uh, I am Jackson, and you are watching this on my channel, so you know where to watch it. Um, anyways, today we are watching, or we are discussing The Transporter, and I have a few of my favorite friends with me this evening, and we'll start with my partner in crime here, uh, Michael. Michael, how's it going? Uh, doing okay. Uh, the movie's over, so I'm okay. I survived the hour and a half. Uh, but no, I'm doing fine, man. Thank you for asking. Uh, how are you? How are you? I am. The, the Lions didn't play today, so it was a lot more relaxing than my typical Sunday. So you didn't lose. So right. that's a well, good. <laughs> my fantasy teams, but you know, what are you going to do? But the Lions didn't lose. They right. No the Lions did not lose. Really. They yeah. somehow got out of the bye week. Unscathed. Too bad you couldn't bet money on like if they could somehow lose this week. You know, You'd probably get some pretty good odds somehow. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Now the next person, I am. Um, I'm dying to hear how he's going to defend the movie. That this week uh ryan you, you ryan. don't know me hey guys <laughs> ryan from the fake nerd podcast well how's it going i'll tell you more about all the stuff we're doing later uh thanks for having me i'm always happy to talk with friends about movies good or bad i guess we'll find out soon huh mm -hmm. there you go and of course last but not least we have paul hey paul from paul's problems um what a what a blast uh <laughs> I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but uh, yeah, it transported me back in time. It it really does. Ooh, yeah, it really yeah, does. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we are we are discussing the transporter today, uh, and this is our seventieth episode, assuming that Mike can count correctly. I, I, I've 70? recounted several times, and this is our seventieth. Hell yeah! All right, we'll go 70th. to Denny's get our senior discount or whatever Hell yeah. there you go right yeah well we're five we're five episodes past that i would say oh uh, not in america they keep making it worse of ourselves. that's true, yeah. that's true. <laughs> uh but yes uh we are watching the transporter so uh basically the the rundown for the show is we'll start by discussing expectations talk about the movie a little bit spoiler free dive into the three action set pieces that make up the entirety of the film um, and then give the grades at the end. So let's start with expectations. Now, I watching this movie, I realized that it's possible that I had never even seen this, or mm -hmm. I just didn't remember it, or I like remembered it through osmosis or something because I was watching this movie and I couldn't remember how long has it been since everybody has seen this. I Everyone. honestly think that this was the first time I had seen it since probably 2002 or three. And I, I was kind of, I was kind of in your same boat, Jackson. I was like, how do I not remember any of this? And and I've actually come to the conclusion that um, I probably blocked it out of my memory mm -hmm. so, somehow. Like it was some kind of traumatic, traumatic um, uh, movie event that happened to me. And uh, yeah, th that that's what uh, I, I I thought while watching it. But my expectations, I thought I was going to love it. I thought it was going to be an awesome '90s action flick. Mm -hmm. So that was my expectation going in. All right. Uh, Ryan? I haven't seen this in probably 15 or or long. I probably saw it in theaters and I haven't seen it since. So it was like, I think this came out in like yeah, definitely wild. the early 2000s. 2002. 2002, Jesus. Man, Statham, good for him, that guy. Um, I I like Jason Statham. Like he's a guy who like, he's good at doing one thing. And when he's good at it, like he's really good at it, right? Like, you know, a lot of the machismo action guys are that way. Um, So I expected to like it. Uh, I know the Transporter franchise is in like, like, oh, yeah, we're watching the Transporter tonight, baby. It's not one of those franchises. So, like, my expectations were, like, pretty mid. Like, will I enjoy it at least? All right. And, uh, Paul, what were your expectations? And how long had it been since you saw this? I had a good, yeah, 13 years or something. It's been a long time. But, um, yeah, I was just expecting to be entertained, uh, laugh a little bit, Um I think what saved me is uh, I just put it on um, my tablet and was on the treadmill. So it was just kind of <laughs> there. Um, so I just kind of listened to it while I let the calories run away with me. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I was expecting to at least be entertained. And I do, I do like Jason Statham. Uh, I think he's, um, yeah, I think he's a good actor. I, as far as, you know, action films and stuff like, like Ryan was saying, good token action guy. Yeah, I, uh, I expected to dislike it 
Um, because I never liked Jason Statham until like somewhat recently. I've, like, I've like, kind of kind of come around on him. Um, I do watch this, and it's interesting because I, I expected to hate it. Um, and I, I'll just say I can see why this kind of vaulted him into that action man role uh, mm-hmm. that he has taken taken on since now. This. Now, is this his launching film? Because I don't know yes. his film history. This was so he was in like Snatch. He was in like Lock, Stock, and Two uh, Smoking Barrels. I think you know, like, like he was side, side right, side, yeah. right. So he had done like a few things, but I think this was like he became one of the action guys. This, right. Though. Yeah. This was yeah. his first starring vehicle. Yeah. 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 So. Um, yeah, let's get into a spoiler-free review. So we'll go backwards here this time. We'll go to Paul first. Um, spoiler-free, Paul, what is your you know overall thought on the movie? Man, I mean, get a six-pack and a couple pizzas and just chill with some buddies and have a couple good laughs. It's a yeah, it's um, it's a it's a good action film for its time. Good introduction for Jason Statham, and just you don't even really have to pay too much attention to the plot. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's my recommendation. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I would say that that's a, a positive review, a lukewarm review. Yeah. Paul? Yeah. Okay. I'll go lukewarm. Okay. Ryan. You know what? I'm also drinking some of the lukewarm tap water, <laughs> but it's a little colder than, than, than Paul's just a little colder. Um, I, I, I think it's totally fine. Like, I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's a totally serviceable early 2000s action movie. It is low budget and it's French. It has the same cinematographer as District B-13. Because in my brain, I was like, this looks so like a movie I know. It's because like it's the same like French action guy who makes all the same movies with Luc Besson. Um, I think it's got some good action scenes. It's like an hour and a half, like top. Like it's crisp. Like there's no like, it's a very simple plot. Uh, I think I think Statham is charming enough. And uh, that dude's got 400 abs for days. So like, you know, <laughs> like I, I didn't, I didn't hate watching this. I had a good time watching it. Mike. So I hated this. Um, and <laughs> uh, now, now it, it, it was kind of a love hate kind of thing. So I, I, I thought everything from the acting to the story and, and the, uh, um, and uh the cinematography I, I didn't like a lot of it i mean mm-hmm. granted it was hard for me to go back and look at it in, in with the lens of it being a early 2000s action movie essentially being a 90s action film built uh made in the early 2000s but the one i guess uh, uh drawback I, the only the only thing that kept me from falling asleep was that I watched it with Riley and every time he took his shirt off, she would wake me up. He's like, look, look, his shirt's off, his shirt's off. <laughs> and uh, I mean, she actually, before we did the show, she wanted to say that it's an A plus for her. She loved this. There's um, one point in the movie but, where he just like rips his shirt off and he's like yeah. running. And I'm like, man, yeah. that wasn't in the script, was it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I, I, I can't hate it terribly because uh, if I watch it with Riley later that night, it comes back and gives me back everything I needed because she, we had a good night last night, but sure, sure, sure. the uh, <laughs> got yeah. her in a, in a good mood. But no, for me, it, it was uh, I, I I don't recommend it. Um, I, I I can't say that um, I I hate that it was made because it did launch Jason Statham's career and 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 helped him make other uh, be a star in other movies that I did like of him. So um, take that for what it is. All right. Um... So there's a few charming things. Uh, Ryan, if you'd move your head a little bit. No, to I'm the right or left. Today. Oh, no. Well, anyways. <laughs> right, hold on. I'll be safe. Hold on. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> so that girl is one of those like charming actresses who's terrible. Yeah. Uh, like she is dreadful. Like it is, it's embarrassing. I felt bad for her um, in the movie because she's oh, like awful. Diaz. She's, uh, this is like one of her only she's yes. taiwan's most ex, like expensive like she's the biggest star in taiwan uh, really she's made Still like for this day uh in 2014 she was oh. the highest uh, you know that's not that long ago but uh she, she tried to make an american movie and maybe it didn't work yeah no she's got like there's something about her outside of the fact that she's gorgeous but yeah. she, there's like she's got like a weird charm to her um, but she's terrible. Uh, the, the, the other charming thing in the movie 
is there's this ongoing gag in the movie, and I won't get into spoilers, but with with Jason Statham's character Frank and this inspector guy who like keeps stopping by, and like he has to like he knows that Jason Statham's up to something, and it's kind of a game of cat and mouse that they continuously play throughout the movie. I like that. There's a couple it, decent action scenes, but the problem I have with this movie is like. I looked at the, I, I hit the up arrow on HBO Max to see how far into the movie I was. Yeah. And I was halfway into the movie and I didn't know what anyone's motivation was. Like, what is the actual plot? I mean, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you, the only thing you know until about two thirds of the way through the movie is that he transported this girl and like, for some reason, like they, they are trying to kill him now. There's no like the plot all of a sudden there's like five minutes where they dump all the exposition in the entire movie and i'm supposed to care and i just can't care yes so that's, there yeah that's the problem so. i will say like the uh the story in this movie it does not matter whatsoever like this is an action movie that's not trying to be anything more than that um i do think like the elements of like she is trying to save these people and like frank is like a guy who doesn't want to be a hero but he's got a heart of gold all that stuff i dig i think it's just really sloppy i think the script's really sloppy yeah um, it should have happened like she's 15. just like it should have happened yeah. like 15 minutes into the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set it you know up so, I mean? like, so we know exactly right. what. Because like the mystery of like what's going on going on with her, like she is she is she is a nothing character. Like she's she's funny and ditzy, but like honestly, she's just there to get kidnapped and like she is a plot device. She is entirely just a plot device. Um honestly to me, like, do you like the Fast and the Furious movies, Mike? I don't remember. I, I like some of them, okay. not all of them. Okay, I was gonna say because like if you just think of this as Jason Statham's like prequel movie to like that character, it all like it fits. Like it's stupid and silly and like you know early enough. Um, uh, but but there there's there's way more. I think uh, you care more about the characters a little a smidge more. Oh no, you that. do absolutely. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's like family. This could be, it's this family. Could, <laughs> this could be his prequel <laughs> movie. Let's be honest, Jason Statham. Like eighty percent of his roles since this are all this right yeah. i mean i will yes i will say uh i think the crank movies cranks one and two are are high fun. art high art fun cinema i um, love the crank movies yeah there we go okay cool yeah, yeah. this definitely crank. is no crank i'll tell you that it's no, no crank. it's no crank out of curiosity um, uh do we recall who chose this for the genre wheel cookie maybe cookie. cookie probably either cookie or me I don't think it was you. I think it was Cookie. It was I'm just going to say it was Cookie. <laughs> I think it was. It had to be. Yeah. I guess because I haven't seen it in so long. We've watched worse. We've definitely watched worse. It's Cookie. But, uh, yeah, oh, we yeah. Have, no, definitely, definitely. We have watched worse. Now, um, let's talk a little bit more about like the actual uh, spoiler section of the movie here. Um, so, giving the plot, I will try to do this. It shouldn't be that hard. No. Uh, basically, we open with, you know, classic like James Bond style open that's kind of detached, just introducing what the character does. He's a You've seen Drive. Order. You've seen Drive, uh, right? Yes. This, yes. this is Drive. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, well it's less artsy right. Drive. Yeah. yeah. So it's let's, let's, a less artsy Drive. He basically goes, he's on a job. He picks up these guys. We find out that he's like, they do do a good job of just setting the base at the beginning. Like, okay, he's got these rules he follows. That's what this is going to be about. Um, he she is immediately uh, but yes, <laughs> yeah. right. So, so basically he, uh, goes and does a, a job. He does odd jobs for people. Um, never wants to know anybody's name. He's kind of a mysterious guy. Uh, he gets a job where he has to carry a package on the way. He gets a flat tire conveniently, um, goes back, finds out there's a person in the package. He's not a complete heartless maniac. So he helps her before bringing her but then he's looked in the package so the bad guys you know that was another thing was i felt like they were ready to kill him regardless of if he looked or not so probably to like tie yeah. sense. Yeah, tie yes. sense. yeah so so they basically you know set him up with like a bomb he drives away they try to kill him and then it becomes you know action man with this girl um essentially I mean, what what what's the rest of the plot? They're just trying to get away, and then he finds out that what the you, you get the plot, which is that she is a daughter of this like Chinese magnet guy who's in cahoots with the bad guy trying to smuggle in um, slave Vince, labor. Vince from Fast and the Furious. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'm just saying, oh. it works out. But uh, but yes, so we find out that there's this awful scheme to smuggle in slaves 
into uh where are they france right france, france. right yeah yeah the smuggle movie. to smuggle hundreds of chinese slaves into france bad news um no thank you and we've got a few action scenes in there i mean i guess we should just kind of talk a little bit about each of the action scenes so the opening one uh i would like to say all of them have the cheesiest 90s music um all these action scenes and all the like slow romantic parts too have oh. like a soft core porn touch yes to so that is because these are french directors making a french action movie there you go this yeah. this is even though it's starring a british dude this takes place in france and it is french like french sensibility so yeah i God, also that noticed... totally changed my entire outlook of the movie now i love it <laughs> listen i'm not saying it's like uh, trust me i i'm just it's very easy for me to play devil's advocate with for sure, like, for sure. uh but like it is definitely not American, like hardcore, like, like it is definitely like when it's romance, like, Hey guys, we're going to hit you over the head with this romance music. Cause that's just how that's, that's how it is. And like, it's definitely not, uh, uh not normal. Uh, I'm not saying it's good or bad. It's just definitely not our usual. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's I think bad. it's, I just think it, it's silly. The music, so the music is so like, I, I don't know. I like the rock. I like, the, I like the most of the music besides well, the romance. The actual, okay. So the music where they like actually like have a soundtrack with actual mm -hmm. artists, like that stuff isn't so bad. It's like well-placed, whatever, you know, you can get, you can kind of get down with it when he's fighting people and stuff. But like, all the romance stuff is so like forced. Skinamax so, shit. And it's very forced. There's right. no. Yeah. There. Please feel this way. This is how you're supposed to feel. That's true. Like, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. nothing so, builds to, to that, uh, to that point where you think like, Oh, okay. She, I guess they do have a thing going on. Like, no, no, she just totally forces that. Right. Her character um, forces everything. But yeah, there's a, there's a chase scene at the beginning. The first opening scene is like a, a decent little chase scene where he ends up like yeah. jumping on top of the, I don't even know what you call those vehicles that hold the other cars. I um, also don't know what they're called. Like a tow truck. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He like jumps, hops off a, a bridge Car onto bus. one of those. Um, what other action scenes? Oh, my favorite action scene, I think, in the entire movie um basically when he drops the girl off he leaves they try to blow him up he gets pissed and he goes back and there's a fight scene like in this house where he like yeah he, he doesn't break her out she sneaks out herself she ends up getting out with him but it's pretty badass like it's actually a fun you know well done action scene. although he really does like jason statham has like the kick moves that you can tell he's very comfortable with um so he does a lot of that where, where he kicks him at maybe about five percent and but it just knocks him through a yes, wall i love it of course all 90 yeah. yeah so there's that one i mean we've got you know we've the got bus a, one at the end where the, the two the, the people jump him on both sides of the bus yes that's, that's pretty good yeah that well, reminded but, me a lot of like uh like the like the netflix uh, uh daredevil or punisher yeah. like where it's just a vault like a very small tight space mm -hmm. type of hallway kind of fight scene i did like that yeah um yeah. The, oh, there's another scene in the middle. I'm trying to remember. I mean, are, um, are we got to talk about the oil scene. At some I mean, point. Riley's favorite scene. Oh, my God. That's so juicy. Well, well the so funny, funny thing is, is that he's he's he's, he's Ryan going just after called them, it right? juicy. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going after him, and then he fights these people here, right? in between these buses. But in order to do it, like, he, like, the bad guy grabs his shirt, but he, like, 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 takes off his shirt while he's still holding on to him and, like, does this little choke oh, yeah. thing, leaves his shirt there, and then starts fighting the rest of the time uh that's very jackie chan that's awesome that is very that. jackie chan yeah yes. that's very good was Jason a, double, was a double punch it wasn't yeah. as wasn't as suave as jackie chan but uh no. it was it was cool um but i mean like i said that was a point where i got a little smack to the head like babe his shirt's off again i'm like <laughs> okay hey right. do, i got a question does anybody know because you know jackie chan has like a big time martial arts background right do we know jason statham's background like is he a badass or yes no he is yeah. he is but he's also he's a model he started as a model there you go see there's then, still like, there's yeah. still hope for me in action films there was uh I think it was Men's Journal had an article about the gym he goes to. That's like this crazy parkour hype. Like, I don't know. It's some crazy parkour mixture thing where you like run through the course. And it's just this whole so, body crazy workout thing. Jason Statham is a purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu and is trained yes. um, in multiple MMA disciplines, including Wing Chun, Kung Fu, Karate, and Kickboxing. That's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah he's right. very extensive. I love that. that yeah, now, 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 because yeah. the, some of the fight scenes to me looked slow. Yeah. Like some of them, some of them were fast, but some looked like he would, 
like just they weren't good choreography or something. That could have just been the times and and the and the. Uh, I mean, how how much? I mean, this is how, well. The budget for this movie was forty three million. I mean, first, I mean, I don't know how much stunt choreographers are, but I mean, and I I would assume that a big portion of this budget were was going towards explosions and, and the right. the. Uh, the fact that every gun had a had tracer rounds in them because you saw oh, the little lasers I going. I love. I wanted to bring that up. I love that so much. I think oh that God, is. It was so is, annoying to me. It's a. It's. <laughs> I. I. I get it. It's a interesting yeah. style choice that I immediately noticed, and I'm like, oh wow, they really want you to see all the bullets, and like, no movie does that, and I think it was a really. I really like that idea. He essentially um, fought a ton of stormtroopers because they just couldn't. <laughs> yeah, it's very yeah. true. That's uh, actually I uh I love I how mean, they act they all of a sudden like in that scene that Jackson you were talking about in the beginning when he just knocks down the door, all of a sudden these these two guys come out with axes. That was, oh, yeah, kind of, of that, was just, that was totally random. And I'm yeah, like, that, that whole I scene's love it. Kind of, I will say right. the, the camera cuts a lot. So like yeah. it's tough to actually follow, you know, it doesn't feel like one of those movies where you're like in awe of what's happening on screen by any There's, means. That's true. There are a bunch of drop kicks. I love a good drop kick in a movie, especially when it's happening on like a moving semi truck. There's um when when Vince from Fast and Furious is driving the truck, Jason Statham like runs on the top. He does like a backflip, jump, drop kick into the window, and I'm like, man, that is that's some cool shit. I love that. Yeah. So, uh, and thank you, Captain Comics, for for coming on tonight. Um, yeah. So we have a fight in a thing vat of oil, um, <laughs> and I I. I could not tell if they were serious when they did this. Like I, I don't, I was trying to, I was watching the movie and I'm sitting there thinking like, okay, is this like, it's like one of those perfect examples where it's like, if it's a joke, it's like brilliant. If they, they thought it was badass, it's terrible. Dude, they, they had Jason Statham. <laughs> and they dude, they knew what they were jackson they knew what they were doing all right they know what they were doing yeah but it's not badass though it's yeah, like I don't, it's, it's not supposed to be he's slippery <laughs> he's slippery uh, in, in 18 and years we're gonna make mites and okay. mites night <laughs> so in the in the the while this night. fight is happening well. you know they're actually i will give them credit there wasn't that obvious like one guy attacks him at a time feel mm -hmm. to it yeah. that most of these types of scenes do but the way they get around that is like, oh, I know how he'll get the advantage. He breaks the pedals off of a bike. <laughs> and he, and he, like, everybody just kind of stands there and watches him as he, like, straps these pedals on his feet. Hell and yeah. then he can, you know, do his kicks and he can do all his shit. But the whole scene, it, it's just, it, yeah, it's they, amazing. It, so it's hilarious watching so it. So they shoot machine guns at the floor and him during that scene, and the oil doesn't catch on fire. But then they throw the whole barrel onto into the into the bay with him and shoot it twice, and it catches on fire. I was just just movie magic. The the entertainment factor. Yeah, no, that well, the first was more of like a KY jelly, Paul, and then oh. the second vat of oil was like the actual, you know. Like actual motor oil. No, it's the stuff happened. from Dune that the Emperor, yes. the Emperor chills yes, in. Yes, it's the stuff that, yeah, right. Yeah, it's the stuff that uh, our, our boy uh, Harkonnen, yeah. Harkonnen goes in. Um, but no, yeah, that was funny too. It's like, okay, because afterwards I'm like, okay, as the fight's happening, I'm like, all right, how is he going to do the next scene? He's going to be covered in oil. But to their credit, he does land in, a, he does land in the ocean and wash it all Listen. off. So yeah. I don't know I if any of you have actually been covered in oil. Sometimes the water just doesn't do it. No. <laughs> well, it does. It it worked in this context. Though. What? How about the how it's about the magic the magic duct tape? Yes. Yeah. Magic let's talk about that. So, Paul, explain the magic duct tape. Yeah. So the uh, the woman character is has duct tape over her mouth in the back of the car, and I don't know how how many days they use that duct tape, but it just every time he put it back on her mouth, mm -hmm. it just stuck. Perfectly, and every Man. time you need to peel it off, it just came off. I gotta tell you, that's, that's a not, great. I mean, they should have used it for I, marketing when they, when they, you know, duct tape yeah. should use this movie for marketing. I just that's not something I think about. I didn't think about that watching the movie because it's a fake movie. <laughs> like, where yeah, but I mean, things... <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, it's duct tape. You gotta, you know, you usually have like a, a ow moment, but she it did was that just once nicely. I she suppose the once. first, the first yeah. pull, that yeah, first pull. pull. Yeah, you um, always remember your first. She is, you know, er she's a slick character. I will say she does. Um, they have one moment in the movie where they decide to be like, okay, we're going to, we're going to make her like a smart character now where the, the inspector dude leaves the room 
and she oh. hops on the computer and mm -hmm. you know like finds the stuff he's like oh man what are you doing like this is the craziest thing i've ever seen done <laughs> yeah, in right. my life um so they did they tried they gave her she had charm i'll give her that yeah. I, i'll give the character that much it's better than like uh the suki character in fast 2 for instance like oh, yeah, more there's more character here than 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 there could have been, yeah. I suppose. And she's and she does have like a noble goal in the end. So she's not just like yes. doing doing nothing. So yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Um yeah. yeah. So uh where where are we at here now? Uh, do we want to talk about the ending? Did I, what did everybody think of the ending? I don't even remember. I totally thought it was the inspector that killed it, that killed uh, the oh the yes. Asian, the Asian dude with too much uh um yeah, Facebook well, comment. well, let's let's yeah. talk about the final about the final chase. So he like commandeers a uh, crop dusting plane, which somehow he like chases all around the forest. And somehow he, I mean, because he the whole time yeah. that he's fighting in the oil, they break off. Like he has no idea yes. where they are, mm -hmm. but somehow he runs fifteen miles chasing this this uh, this this plane down in 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 offset terrain and is able to you know get this guy at gunpoint. He's and got a transport, man. He's got a transport. Yeah, Porter got a transport. <laughs> he somehow parachutes onto this thing, and all these guys have guns. I don't know why they're not shooting the uh, shooting the parachute, but he lands on it. And um, what happens after that? I'm sorry, I don't know, but it is hilarious how this is one of those types of movies where they just have no care, like as far as logic. But, who cares? Like, but, why is Ryan, there a you hit this on the note. This is Essentially, this is Fast and Furious before Fast and Furious. Yeah. Right, but like there's a reason why they always have skydiving shit in Fast and the Furious. And this it's like That's why cool. the hell does this farm plane have a fucking full-on skydiving suit in it? Uh a parachute. What if the thing malfunctions and you die? It's yeah, I, th I think I think all planes it. have that. <laughs> do do does that does a little plane like that have it? It has, to. It has yeah, to. Yeah, so uh there's a little sure. airfield right by my house and like they take people up and they they have a spot for people. Okay, well you you let me know Mike if you ever run into a crop duster doing his fields. <laughs> yeah. If if his if his 40-foot high right. crop dusting trip if he's got a parachute in his I mean, he could And then I'm I'm going to take this segment, I'm going to splice it. I'm going to be like Jackson, do you remember this moment on the Yes, do it. Episode? I would love it. We've I would got love you. It if you did that. But but anyway, so so he jumps out of the plane. We have a chase. There's a hilarious moment in this chase where like <laughs> Jason Statham just has no care at all for the girl, apparently, because he's fighting and he's like fighting the guy who's who's driving the other car. And he throws a tire iron through the window oh of God. the other car and hits him in the face. And like the, the car just nicely Good crashes. Aim. Yeah, it was like a perfect crash, yeah. you know, um, could have easily killed her. Could have quite right. no, that car had a, had plot armor had the had the veer plot armor. Armor. there yeah. you go yeah but uh but no there's a I thought the chase was okay like the yeah. whole fight at the him end running on top and again doing like a jump kick into there and the dude falling out and getting like tumbled like yeah that's, yeah that's, there's that's yeah there's a pretty sweet moment too where like the 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 Fast and the Furious guys driving and he had broken the window out in a previous moment. And he like flies around into the car and does the drop oh, kick. Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. So I enjoyed yeah. uh, uh, when he finally got ran over too. Yeah. And then try and cut that out. The movie does have its charm. I mean, there is, I mean, this movie has a missile launcher much. scene. Oh yeah. Like, like, yeah, a bunch of missiles and this. Like, yeah. This... Missiles, yeah. you know, gunshots where you Parkour. can see the bullets. Oh God. Parkour. The missile that goes into the house and then somehow like goes through all the uh, doors. Oh yeah. The open doors. <laughs> Oh, I love it. God. That's a missile with a with vengeance. <laughs> it it is like it, it you know, we're sitting here like kind of ripping on this movie. Um sounds like Ryan and Paul are a little nicer to it than than me and Mike overall. I do think it has its charm, but but here's what I know. It made a they, they made a franchise out of this. Yeah, I mean this is a, this is a successful ass. Oh, movie I'm sorry, it did not really cost forty three million. It cost twenty point five million, and then it made forty three million at the box office. Right. And yeah. then and then we or had Transporter two. Uh, and I mean, three. I, think there, I was gonna say, isn't there a show or something? I there like, they rebooted it, and now it's the oh uh, the bad guy from Daredevil. He's the new Transporter. 
like the like the white the, the white guy who played Ajax. I don't know if you remember Deadpool. Uh, he's also been in other stuff, but I don't remember. Oh yes, okay, the guy who's in like Alita Battle Angel is like yes, uh, okay. that guy, the bald guy. Yeah, I like that guy. Is he yeah. the transporter? He's the he's transporter proto re, refueled. I think it's called refueled. Oh, I it's might have to give that a oh, go. Yeah. That just sounds badass. <laughs> it's a show know. or a movie? I don't know. Uh, either way, the point is, is for next week. The point Let's is, check. the point is, I can we can sit here with our you know pinkies out, uh, <laughs> just sipping our champagne like we're like out here. fucking yeah. yeah classy guys. But what do we know? The movie made money. People liked it. Um, hey man, and like we watch so many. That's what I love about movies. Like you can yeah. have a super dense movie, a super like fluffy movie. Like this is again, this isn't a two and a half hour trying to do something like really like like heavy it's an hour and a half of jason statham kicking ass like and that's okay sometimes and you, know? you know to be honest with you like i'm sure back in 2002 or if this was made in the 90s it, i probably would have liked it a little bit more probably would have yeah. had more nostalgia to it yeah. but for me not seeing it since then and 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 kind of going back and watching it, it didn't age well for me at all yeah um mm -hmm. it, it was tough I, I i do have to say though there were a lot of parts of this movie where i could see some more modern movies kind of took parts of it could, could have uh used this movie as an inspiration like uh, the inspector guy kind of reminded me a lot of the uh of the uh, the cop in the first john wick you know how he kind of knows but he doesn't know you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of mm. thing. Sure. um and then obviously drive we talked about that earlier um but yeah i mean there, there's there's a, there's something to, something to be said about movies like this because they a lot of newer place newer uh movies they'll they'll take things from older movies and you know I definitely better. think that that whole way better. stick way with better. the that whole stick with the cop is pretty great. Like yeah. I, like oh, I like that. I it was so funny. Like he leaves right, and then five seconds after he leaves, the whole thing blows up. It's like <laughs> he's like, like you couldn't have been that far, <laughs> right? And then he had other and then, and then when he brings him into the station, he's like, "Hey, we found your car. This is your license plate. I found your car." It had two dead cops in it. I'm sure you had nothing. No, you didn't know anything about it. Like, no, I didn't. He goes, okay, here's fifty bucks. Trustworthy at face. My cousin's hotel. To to face. Ryan's point on that, like, you know, I, I don't think it completely excuses it, but it is like dumb action flick where none of this. You're you're just not supposed to care about any of that stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just it sucks because you could make like you could, this premise could be done in like a really good action movie. You know what I mean? Whereas yeah. this is like not that, and it's not yeah. trying to be, I guess. So who you know, cares, it's so right? Funny. Like, I mean, I know I'm not supposed to care, but I'm I'm puzzled as to why I care so much. You know what I mean? Why? Like, I mean, like, you mean that it's stupid? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no. you know, you know what I mean, though. Like, I mean, I I know I'm supposed to not care, but why do I care so much? Is it because that we do this show? Do you think, or is it because uh, I don't know? Maybe I think that my time is just. Uh, if I go to see a movie that someone spent tw that twenty million dollars uh, uh, investing into it, I'm I was just hoping for for something. No, like, I get I, I get that. You, you know what I mean? I don't know. No, I'm, I'm kind of puzzled as to why I don't care. More. No, I get that. I think honestly, I do like, care more. with this movie, like I think you might be overthinking it. Like it's it's not very it's not very good. Like honestly, like it's like I'm defending it, but that's because I'm defending it. Like it's not it's not offensive. It's a decent action movie. Like I'm not going to talk about it tomorrow, right? Uh, like it is not groundbreaking in any way, but also again, not every movie needs to be thought provoking, hard hitting. Sometimes movie can just be fluffy. Just you just didn't connect I, with this movie. Yeah. That's okay. Like it, you know, it, I, that's okay. I would expect that for a movie that was like made for TV, like a Sharknado. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or the, 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 like this, the quality wise, this felt like a Sharknado type of film. And for this to actually have been put out into theaters, I'm surprised at how bad it was. Well, that's, it's that's kind but of again, I, but again, we've watched worse movies on this very that's channel. That's true, yeah. That works I mean, like, but then again, yeah. just like you said, Ryan teats their own. Everybody has, you know, channel. likes yeah. bad movies. Everybody <laughs> hates good movies. You know, it's whatever. just yeah. it's it's one of those things where you if you watch a ton of movies, you know that this could be good. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And it's that, not that's probably it. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like absolutely. Like again, Drive is a better version of this movie. 100%. Yeah. It's the same premise, but it actually has like heart characters, like really <laughs> grotesque action. Uh, Comparing so, like, this to Drive. But that's hilarious. what I mean. Like, I mean, I get it. Yeah, yeah you're right. No, like, there's like a good make, version. They did make of... a artsy, good, like, right. movie of this kind. Man, so much I would have loved drive. it if they'd made his character more mysterious, like like he's the he's the transporter. He Like, if he didn't talk kind of thing. You know, mm. Kind of more like a hitman. You know yeah. how like Hitman never talked? 
Yeah. Or Agent 49, 7, 47. Yeah, but yeah. then you don't get that Jason state. <clears throat> yeah, you don't. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. Anyways, it is time to do the devil's advocate game. And we're oh, going to play it this week. Oh, so, let, Mike, let pull up a wheel. wheel. Yeah. Um, I think this should be, you know, this should be an we easy one to do for both week. sides. Um, I think so. I'm ready. Yeah, right, but see, take uh, take out uh, cookie. Uh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, come on. I would have oh. loved to have gotten Ken's opinion on this movie. By the way, yeah. I'm sure. He, I think he would have liked it. All right. So for the first one, we'll be going four, like pro. Four. We okay. are tran. We are transporting. <laughs> Just work the transport. Oh really boy, I was really transporting. Go. Ryan's gonna win. Okay, boy. And now is gonna be uh, this. You have to make the case that this is the best movie ever made. Okay. And who gets to say that this is the worst? I hope it's him again, and he has to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Actually, make me talk for two minutes straight. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you thought you were gonna get away with that, didn't you, Mike? Yeah, he kind of did. Just took the risk. Yeah. No, God. Oh, keep going. No, please. Oh, there it is, Paul. Uh, Paul. Okay. Uh, Paul, it's the one right. <laughs> who, who kind of like it. What a, what a shame. So I don't know if Mike has his clock ready. I can get um, I can get ready in about five seconds. Hold up. Um, but yes, uh, the point of this game is Ryan has been chosen to our, to make a 30-second pitch for why this is the greatest film ever made. Um, and Paul will have to rebut with why it's the worst and you have to and both seen. of you have to convince me and jackson and okay. you have to convince us so uh if you want to start the clock go ahead now listen if you want to see the defining moment that brought jason statham to the world and we are so thankful for for the statham that we have uh look no further than the transporter you got a beautiful statham you got a beautiful lead uh she's she's really charming there's got some great action scenes you know in 2004 you know we have a lot of really bad action sequels and it's nice to have something fresh and original with the french taste you know add a little culture to your action movie so it's not just I don't know, torture, blah. a character with nuance he was in the military do you believe that one all right, all right. Oh so Ryan gets negative points for the wrong year being released. Yeah, negative points lose. for the wrong year. Negative points. Negative points for trashing <laughs> Arnold, and negative points for for uplifting the French. So here we right. here. Here you right, go. So here you go. They gave us the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Paul, uh, here you go. Thirty seconds. Go. I don't care if watching this movie gets you laid by your new wife. It is trash. Uh, disrespectful to the police force. Uh, in thinking that this police detective didn't know everything that was going on, doesn't care that his comrades have died in the back of a vehicle. He knows whose vehicle it is and fake bullets. And I don't care if it's a sexy guy covered in oil, just it's bad. And it's soft corn for music too. Just get out of here. I All right. Hey, I Paul, you get, hey Brian, you're going to give you 15 seconds. Oh, you're giving him a rebuttal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We do the rebuttals. No, yeah. Yeah. Rebut 15 second rebuttal for each. Ready? And yeah. 15 seconds. Listen, just because you're soft and you can't handle a little risque material doesn't mean it's bad material. Just because, you know, you show a little a little ha-ha doesn't mean that the world doesn't like it, Mr. Um, America. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you'd like to rebut, you get 15 seconds, Paul. Go. I forgot to mention that if you are trying to kill somebody, don't stick your fingers in their mouth like the bad guy. And also, Jason Statham kisses another guy in this movie. It was ahead of its time for that, so I got to give it that. That's the point for me. <laughs> That's a, that was a bad rebut, Paul. You know that was what? A bad was, I know. was that supposed to be like mouth to mouth? He was getting air from his lungs. Yeah, that, that's what he was doing. It didn't yeah. look like that. It looked like he just kissed him. No, no it's, you can I, 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 I thought. Why not both? I, I understood what he was doing. Well, so Jackson, I, who, who did you who are you voting for? I mean, I thought Paul won in a landslide on this one. I was very upset with Ryan. I thought he, he was did not bring, bring up more movie to this. stuff. He was bringing up other stuff. How he funny. his his point about the police force was was something we did not bring up during the review. Uh, very very dumb policeman. Um, or is Statham just he? that good? Huh? Well. I guess I guess we'll never, we'll never know, know. But <laughs> yeah, I'm but, sorry, Ryan. I'm going with Paul. He he, okay. he, he hit it on the first one. I'm, I'm very it. shocked that one of Ryan's first losses. I think. Yeah, I think it's his only loss. 
Probably. I'm honestly, yeah. it, uh, it's the transporter. I'm not too worried about it. All right. So, okay. Let um, me, uh, let's also do that a, bullet a genre. Had no penetrating power. The, when the, he picked the guys up from the bank and he shot the guy in the back and you just had to do wipe a little ketchup packet off his, uh, his <laughs> rear windshield. Um, while really we're doing this here. genre wheel, final grades, I'm giving it a D oh, as right. a dog. You're giving it a D, uh, Jackson? Yeah. D. I'm giving it a solid Solid C. It's totally fine. Solid C. C minus. Oh. I was entertained. What? C was minus. It? Can we do minuses or we do we? Yeah, we, say we, no do minuses. we can do minuses. No, we and I will minus. give it a solid uh, D minus. Ooh, a solid D minus. Yeah, solid D minus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, the transported refuel got 16% on Rotten Tomatoes. Awesome. So it's a hell, movie. Hell yeah. yeah. Monsters yeah. or Ooh. aliens? Nope. Aliens. Alien. Why Any not type both? of alien movie. So let me. Uh, Ooh, awesome. Fire in the sky. Delete all these. Ooh. So pick your alien movies. Sputnik, the Russian horror movie that Ooh. I watched for Halloween that I really. Oh, liked. I watched that too. Not Hell that yeah. I watched it last year. I'll do Fire in the Sky. Classic. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I'm I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Uh, there's a there's actually uh, um, another. Movie similar to Sputnik, but it would it took place on Jupiter's moon called Europa Report. Europa Report. Mm. Thank you. I think I saw that one. I... Years ago. Uh, Jackson. Why can't I think of the Steven Spielberg uh, Close Encounters? Okay. Close oh Encounters. yeah, yeah, good yeah. One. That is a good one. You guys think Flight of the Navigator would count? I don't know why I'm stuck on that one. Flight I, of the I, Navigator. I, I don't know about that. Yeah. Thank Star? God. Thank, thank God. Comic Man Andy's not in the chat. He'd probably put Mac and Me too. <laughs> Star, the Star sky, Man. Starman's a good one too. There's a Star, Star Man. man. <laughs> All right. If you think of any more, I'll throw them on too. No big deal. Sweet. All I'm right. Ready. Now let's do. Uh, who gets to choose next? I want to win. On my channel. Big money, no whammies. Big money, big money, big money, big no money. No whammies. Thank you. Oh, oh Ryan. I'm so excited. Cool. All right, guys. So this, I don't have this. Unfortunately, I don't have this movie from Blockbuster on my shelf. Um, <laughs> but we are going to watch the early 2000s uh, Michael Mann movie, Collateral, which is my favorite Ooh. Tom Cruise movie. I think it's Tom Cruise's 2004. best performance. 2004. I think that movie's insane, and I haven't watched it in such a long time, and I've just been, I've been juicing. I've been juicing for it, so I'm glad I got picked. Ooh, I love it's that on movie. multiple streaming services. Tom, so. Tom Cruise versus uh, the Transporter. I wonder who would uh, who would win in in the collateral. Oh, Tom Cruise would win hardcore. <laughs> he's brutal. Yeah, he's. Uh, this is a I'm great excited. Tom Cruise uh, starring movie. Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx, Jada Pinkett Smith, Mark Ruffalo, Javier Bardem, and oh Peter yeah, Burke. oh my god, all oh, oh so good. Yeah, yeah this is yeah. one of Tom Cruise's only villain performances, and I wish he would do it more because he's outstanding. Yeah. I'm sitting here. I mean, I guess you could say heat, but like Michael Mann for me is one of those hit and miss, hit or miss guys. And yes. this is one that's like fucking awesome. When so you I'm make heat to watch it. and right. this movie, your other that's ones. That's all you even... need. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, let's all, I think we're at say our goodbyes time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, next week we'll be watching, oh, a blank space because I didn't fill that out before I fixed it. But anyways, <laughs> next week we'll be watching Collateral. But before we say goodbye, let's uh, let's have everybody else say goodbye first. So, Paul, uh, say your goodbyes, please. Let's get out of here. Goodbye. Yeah, I want to go. Uh, sorry, I was waiting for you to make me bigger. My bad. Yeah, let's go all leave here and watch Transporter 2. Um, but hey, uh, <laughs> Paul, my name's Paul. You can find me on Instagram, Paul's Problems. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. I'm looking and, forward to rebuttaling more movies in the future. Yeah. And uh, Ryan. Hey, guys. Uh, the Fake Nerd Podcast will be going live around 930 tonight talking about Marvel's Eternals. Come check out all of our hot takes and hot goss. We're also talking about the comic book Eternals written by Neil Gaiman, which came out in 2006. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Uh, you can find me at DJ Tony Snark everywhere on the Internet. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. And you look great with that Chinese lady yes. here. By the Thank way. you. Yes, you extensions. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Mike. Oh, he said Eternals. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm Mike from the Downright Nerdy Podcast. Uh, you can find me right here. We'll be doing um, uh, 
just our weekly show next week, Collateral, with Tom, uh, starring Tom Cruise. Um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much where you can find me. That's about it, buddy. Thank you, Mike. And uh, I am Jackson from right here. Come back here, hit the subscribe button, do all your, your little things there. So um, thank you for, for joining us on this trip through memory lane, um, a movie that makes you feel old, even though it starts with the old two zero. Um, it still made me feel old. So everybody have oh, a, a real quick. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. I forgot one other thing uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, uh, subscribe to JP's Budget Collecting. He's a, a, a comic book part of the comic book YouTube community. I've been re I've been reading and reviewing uh, Lock and Key the entire uh, series. Nice. So uh, we are about to review uh, trades four and five uh, out of six. So um, yeah, it's been uh, pretty fun. It's a good series. Love Sweet. Can we leave now, Mike? Or um, anything else you got to share? Yeah, one more thing. Uh, if you uh, have a significant other who likes uh, chiseled bodies, watch this movie with them. I guarantee you, you may be suffering for an hour and a half, but uh, the rest of the night you'll have a great time. <laughs> Promise. Promise. Perfect. The state right. them promises. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so that's it. Now, you'll have to report back, Mike. You should go through his filmography through the years and see if it gets less oh, exciting. Gosh. Yeah. Less see, exciting. See as it goes. when it stops. When when it like it stops working. <laughs> yeah. Is it is it the Meg when it stops working or? Oh, I should I should make her watch that. Uh, <laughs> make watch it. But yes, um, everybody have a, a good evening. Have a good week coming up, and we will see you next weekend.